Growing up Hmong in America, there's a huge tug of war in who we are. We live in Hmong homes that teach us to be Hmong, but outside our homes, the whole world is telling us to be American. We live in a huge clash of cultures and slowly, sometimes not even knowingly, fall more to one side or the other. The spectrum of being Hmong to Hmong Mika or Hmong American. A lot of us choose one side or the other, not knowing what influenced us to do that. This is why we are the Hmong American generation. I think it's really good to be Hmong American because we're a certain like type of people living in a different world, you know, like our parents, they came from a different place. They came from Laos to come to America for a better life because of the war. Being Hmong American is having both cultures into your life and being able to balance, balance it out and balancing both American and Hmong culture in your life. We are Hmong at our core, but then it's adapting to our American society today. Hmong American is like being a part of something special. Not a lot of people know about Hmong. They kind of know like Chinese, the main ones. And it's kind of nice to like inform them about like who we are. I speak fluent Hmong, but I can't read or write fluent Hmong, you know? So I feel like I'm kind of in the middle-ish because I understand our ways, I know our ways, but I can't thoroughly do what my dad does. Like when, for like, since we're shamans, like we, when they do Ning, I can't thoroughly do what they do. And I would like sometimes hang out with like different groups of people, but I usually prefer to hang out with like my Hmong friends. It's because I feel like we have a better connection and like we have similar thoughts and like we can we have similar we have so much similarities like to each other that we would like have a better bond and we can have a better time. Um I feel like I'm more on the I guess whitewash side. Um I mean not that I don't I hang out with Hmong people way more now, but like I don't know how to like speak it fluently. I mean I used to hang out with Mingai people but I kind of just grown away from that. We relate more to Hmong people, and it just feels like it's feels more of of a connection. There's more caring, I guess. It feels like it's more family. I'm not too traditional, but I'm also like very Americanized. I actually hang out with my Hmong friends more compared to my American friends. I think it's because I'm used to being around Hmong people more, and it's still kind of hard to be accepted towards the other races because it's like. They don't quite understand what we're coming from, and it's kind of hard for them to try to put themselves in our shoes. I feel like I'm more on the more white side, and because of how I grew up and who I associated myself with through like the first 14 years of my life, I like to spend a lot of time with a lot of the guys that I know from church. Those are like a lot of Hmong guys. It's I really like to hang out with them because it just it relates. Like, we have the same values and we both like know where we can stand. As a child, I didn't really understand why we did Ning or anything like that until I was like in fifth grade. My dad told me like ghost stories, like if you didn't do it, then ghosts would come into your house. And like that, that scared me, you know? So like that's why I grew more into the shaman area and like I got really interested in that. My parents are really into the Hmong community, so they know their values when it comes to meeting other Hmong people, and they know how to display other towards respect towards them, and I learn from that. Yeah, that's why like, I don't speak Hmong as fluently as I used to, because back then when I was younger, I lived with my grandparents, with my parents, and they would speak Hmong to me all the time, so like, I guess growing up, not really maintaining or hearing the um, Hmong language, it kind of like influenced me to like not really know it anymore. I feel like my parents probably speak better English than they speak Hmong. When I did learn Hmong, it was because my, I lived with my grandparents and my grandparents um, always taught me Hmong. And so uh, I did learn Hmong first, but then once my parents finally uh, started staying home more and I was around my parents more, it was always just English. I'm proud to be Hmong. It's kind of nice to be different because different is always, uh, I mean, special. Hmong people, they like know each other. So like if you know someone, they know someone you know, it's like, oh crap. Being Hmong, it's, it's tough, but I get, it's pretty fun as well. I mean, it's fun meeting new people. And it's interesting to learn uh, certain traditions that I don't know. And while also being included in the 
American society, which it's also very in fun to keep me entertained as well. I feel really good actually, you know, because like there's a diversity of being normal to weird to, you know, like all the rest. And I feel like being bong, it's being all those things, you know, it's, it's, it's a different feeling, but it's a good feeling. I feel really proud to be like one of the first generations to be here because we're representing our parents and like, it's just like really thoughtful that our parents gave, like gave us life, you know, and like, so we can live here.